minutes to vlog here uh, if you may notice the get up it's because I'm trying to deal with uh, an ear infection so this is uh, how I deal with it keep the ear warm and the fluid that comes out of it goes into a cloth that's underneath so anyways that uh, we're gonna do a little vlog here catch up with what's going on it is one hour and 31 minutes into the day of Sunday September 7th 2014 uh, it's been a series of dealing with obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. I'm still debugging uh, 1404. Uh, there is a lot to deal with. And I'm getting through things bit by bit. So, uh, I, I, it, it's one thing run after another. But it's because uh, the split between uh, LIB, AV, and FFmpeg is getting bigger. Uh, the 14.4 install requires a reconfiguration of the audio and video system, uh, your software, so that you can pull off the LI, LIB AV that st doesn't work, a lot of their stuff doesn't work, it's just uh, very buggy, and put back on and then we debug uh, all the stuff for... Um, uh, FFmpeg. Um, that's kind of what's going on now, and that's kind of what's delayed everything. Uh, this is included the delay in uh, our live broadcast, which is uh, Talk Live. Uh, <laughs> uh, but hopefully, uh, as of Monday, Tuesday, things can, get, things can start getting back to normal. But uh, we'll see about that. You know, you know, bit by bit, day by day, things are starting to get back to normal. The debug is almost done. And uh, I think we will be all right. It's just, you know, not a, you, you have ideas, you want to work on them, you have these goals to get to, but more often than not, there are going to be obstacles in the way that are going to try to slow you up, that try to trip you up, that do trip you up. And you're going to have to get up, dust yourself off, and just keep going. In other words, you got to fix the problem. you got to look at, you know, bit by bit where the different issues are. And then again, issue by issue, start doing the debug work to, to get everything working again. And that's kind of what's happening, you know. Uh, uh, it, that's that's sort of you know where we are at this particular point in time. And uh, I'll keep you guys informed, and we can sort of you know hang out, talk together, and uh, just to do the general vlogging stuff. Uh, I hope it's a little more interesting uh, with the way to reformat everything. So, but we'll see, anyways. You know, uh, you know. Time will only tell. Alright, I'll see you in uh, the next segment of the vlog. Taking a few minutes out to vlog. I actually got to learn something new. A new little trick. Uh, one of the problems with the uh, with the vlog that, that I've been having, and this was some of the technical issues, is that there was a lag in the sound. It was caused by a technical, a technical glitch. Uh, Something happened along the line when I was transferring files from a chip to the computer, and the files didn't exactly copy properly. And so, when you view the uh, AVI file, which was then later later transferred into an MP4 file, what you ended up what you end up hearing, and you'll hear this uh, if, 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 I don't, if my correction doesn't work properly. Uh, you'll hear a lag between the audio and the video. Uh, that happens for a variety of different reasons, and when that starts happening, you have to sort of trace things down and sort of figure out what's what and what's gone wrong. 
and I realized that maybe what I should be doing is to make it easier to correct because the error occurs within the first uh, 15 seconds of the video. That if I wait 15 seconds before I start vlogging, that should resolve the problem if this problem occurs again. So in other words, uh, right now I've done some successful transfers after the problem occurred. Uh, the successful transfers did not have the lag problem, the audio lag problem. Uh, but if it does happen again, I want to be able to repair it. So uh, the way you would do that is I'm making myself some uh, some drink. The way you would do that is by if you if the error occurs within the first 15 seconds, uh, just wait 15 seconds and then um, proceed with the vlog. And so that's kind of how I'm going to go about taking care of that. Uh, other, I, I, I also, you know, in terms of, of progress and sort of clearing up progress on the daily, doing, clearing up issues on a daily basis, this 24 7, seven days a week, uh, I'll be looking into, uh, uh, I should be. Uh, Doing a final check over today on the on the editing desk, uh, queuing up some of the files to be uh, to be dealt with, to be uh, uh, edited, and, and uh, hopefully uh, I can get either tonight or tomorrow uh, I can get an episode of BTS vlogs up. And once that occurs, and I start clearing up some of the backlog. I can then start working on Beauty and the Geek and all the other shows that uh, sort of need to be worked on to, to develop the full to develop a full season. It also means I'll be clear to go live again with, with the talk live, so that all has to be sort of dealt with this with this week, sort of uh, get this back into schedule again. And once again, we'll try. You know, we'll try it again. This is this is part of the challenge of setting up a channel. You know, you want to know what it's like to set up a TV channel. Well, this is it. Uh, uh, there are technical problems. There are uh, uh, issues related to health. Then there are personal delays, uh, fatigue that needs to be dealt with. Sometimes not all your notes are together. You have to work on that. Now, uh, what I'm doing now is uh, because I'm working on the TV channel, the, the live 24-7 TV channel, I've had to uh, change my post office. I had to realign the post office along the network to free up one system. And freeing up that system, uh, I didn't realize how much was actually on there, how much it was integrated within the network. So to repurpose it was, it, it was, it was and still is a significant task. So, uh, <laughs> that being said, anyways, uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. You know, I'm going slate into the uh, clip here, into the segment. It is 19, hour, uh, 19 hours and 20 minutes into the day of Sunday, September 7th, 2014. Yeah, and it, I don't know exactly how many clips I'm going to film during the day, so I'll film whatever I need to film and then uh, go from there. Uh, and I don't know exactly what our rate is going to be in terms of putting out a video, whether it's going to be daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or uh, three times a week, two times a week. But we have to sort of play that by ear and sort of, as things move along, we'll get to different things. Uh, anyways, that's it for about now. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again in a little bit. Uh, I still got some uh, drinks to have. I'm going to do some work on the internet, on YouTube. Got to go around and see some people on my YouTube stroll. And I also have to do some work on my notes and desktop. Alright, talk to you later. Bye bye. Well, this is going to be an end of the day vlog. <laughs> At least an end of the day segment, anyways. Uh, I think we've been getting back on schedule with our vlogging. And that does take some uh, some degree of doing. Uh, it, even though it's Sunday, I did get some work done. I still have a cleaning problem the way Cassandra does. 
Uh, I've been watching a lot more of the vlogs too, so I'm watching one now. Uh, I've got now my main my main my main TV is now uh, YouTube. So that's the main thing that I watch on TV because I've cut my cable. So, uh, but I do get cartoons every now and again. I, well, actually I actually have a whole bunch of cartoons uh, uh, and, and anime that I can watch. So that's for me in terms of entertainment. That's what I have as intent. I don't really relax. I spend most of my time at my research desk. I cleaned everything up enough uh, so that I get the, the music studio going again. I did a lot of the loading f for uh, various different uh, apps and programs on Linux to get the music studio started to start testing it out. One of the issues that I'm working on is that uh, it's harder and harder to put music in the background without having someone coming along and saying, hey, that's my music. Even if, it's, let's say, that the music's very old and the person's already dead, someone's going to come along and claim, hey, hey that's my music, uh, I own that, and uh, they're going to take old music that uh, really isn't being used anymore uh, and say, well, you can't use it because it's my music now. Uh, they, which, what, we're, what we're witnessing today is... Uh, what well, the Roman Catholic Church did uh, years ago uh, in banning books and saying what music couldn't be, what couldn't couldn't be heard in terms of what was sinful and not sinful, and in that manner, what they ended up doing is they ended up creating the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages was not something that existed all all the time. It was something that create was created by the restriction of information. Uh, uh, the more restrictive the information, they, they said information was sinful, was harmful, and that you were doing wrong by this. And this now you're saying, because if you steal information, right, you, 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 you're you copying somebody else's music. Even if you're actually listening to it while we're talking here, uh, we're talking, right? We're having a discussion. And I've got some music on in the background. Well, can't have that. Sorry. It's copyright. And YouTube will flag it and take it off. And this is not necessarily YouTube doing. There are people out there looking for this type of stuff. And they'll go out and flag a video and say, hey, that's my content. And they'll flag and remove a video. They'll censor the video. And it also doesn't necessarily have to be the music. It could be the content that's in there. Uh, there's a number of different things they'll, they'll flag on. And it actually amounts to censorship. Uh, so I'm working on my music studio now. I want to try to get... Uh, uh, some, of, some of my own songs in the background, and I think that will sort of resolve some of the problem. Anyways, but I don't, I don't give it too long before once I start putting my own music. That somebody's gonna come along and say, "Hey, hey that's mine." I'm gonna say, "Wait a minute here, that's what I created. That came, came out of my music studio." So. I don't know. Um, that's what happened on Sunday. Uh, it's not actually Sunday today. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp because we need to do that. It is one hour and 27 minutes into the day of Monday, September 8th, 2014. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it here. I'll talk to you guys uh, in the next uh, segment of the BTS vlog. See you then. I had to come back and do this one little last vlog. I'm watching uh, you know, one of the anime channels, uh, um, cosplay channel. She takes us takes us to uh, Otakon uh, 2014. That's how I get out to my different uh, venues. It's through uh, other cosplayers and other vloggers. Anyways, uh, the reason why I'm back is that uh, the vlog for the end of June, from June 12th to June 30th, is rendering. It'll take about two and a half hours, so it will be up tomorrow. But this is gonna take us. A, it's gonna take me a while to really get caught up in everything to deal with all the backlog. But. Uh, <laughs> It's getting done. It's getting done. So I'm happy for that. Uh, we'll see where we have to go from here. Um, um, yeah. 
Anyways, uh, I think I thought I'd just give you that quick update that uh, we are finally moving along. And uh, I will see you uh, sometime tomorrow because I'm going to knock off in a couple of hours. It's just getting around. Uh, it's, yeah, time and date stamp, right? I'm always forgetting to do that. I'm always forgetting to do the time and date stamp. And it's important. Uh, it's four hours and five minutes. Uh, four hours and 55 Four hours and 54 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. So, yay for that. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you uh, later. Well, I did promise to vlog uh, as I can or when events come up and so let me give it the time and date stamp and this will kind of explain things. It is 11 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. And the reason why this date, date, time and date stamp is significant is I haven't been to bed yet. For some reason, I've been having, the last few days, I've been having a hard time sleeping again. That is, you know, it, it, sleep deprivation is something that's with me a lot, but it's something I don't get really, really get used to. The, so what happens is that once I'm in this sort of sleep deprived mode, I have to uh, immediately switch over to my emergency mode. Emergency mode means uh, I have to look at my efficiency model and do necessities first and then bring everything else down like that because uh, fatigue really does limit what you can can get done during the day. So the goal with the efficiency model in the emergency mode is to, to sort of uh, get more work done with less, less amount of effort. And so that way, even if you're really tired or you're sleep deprived, uh, work can get done. So that's where we are right now. Uh, I had some problems with the IPTV. As I said before, I'm, I'm going to bring it back to you, you, you Ubuntu BSD unit you know, the show. Now that the editing, the editing bay is working, uh, more content should be coming out this week, and one of the shows will be the episodes I'll be doing is Ubuntu BSD and the Zetel, and I'll be talking about uh, what's going on with IPTV, particularly with Android. Uh, there are some serious problems with Android, and uh, it's changed the way I view things in terms of uh, Android development, and so. Uh, I've sort of changed my position on Android development as well, and I'll sort of elaborate more on this in the show you've been to be the in this account. But you know, it's it, I just f f finished fixing up problems. But the thing is, is that the, the, uh, one of my friends I was talking to was asking me what uh, he should get, uh, what devices he should get, and he was going to get one that has uh, XM, uh, let's see, XMBC. Uh, I think it's the XMBC. Yes, what it is. It's the uh, the Xbox. Uh, no, XB XBMC. That's what it is. XBMC. Xbox uh, Music Center. That's uh, one of the uh, the uh, players on Android that allows you to sort of uh, no, no players like on on Linux that allows you to uh, watch TV. It's like an IPTV device. But that's how it's the operating system is essentially Linux, and what gives you your TV, your uh, your, your menus, and everything is XBMC. The problem I have with XBMC is you don't have enough people developing for it. So while Android is not the best choice in terms of the quality of the OS and what you can get on the device. Uh, it is the best choice in terms of the choice of apps because you got a lot of developers working on it, but you have almost nobody. I think everybody that I've seen so far has the either left X XBMC or they're planning to leave XBMC. So the number of choices that you have on there is starting to dwindle. So I think that platform is kind of dead right now. Although it can be revived later on, but right now uh, it's sort of in the dead zone. So, <laughs> uh, 
that being said, I think I'll call it quits here. I'm going to try to go get some sleep again. And I will see you in the next uh, segment of the BTS vlogs, uh, whenever that's going to be. So, all right, I'll uh, talk to you then. Well, good news. <clears throat> well, sort of good news, anyways. Uh, you can hear this. My piano is now in the music studio is now hooked up. I can talk like this now, and you can hear me louder. <laughs> so this will give me a whole new range of options. But I have to start all over again with my music. I, I, I had been at the Royal Conservatory of Music in Toronto uh, when I was about 12 years old, but uh, those days are long gone. So uh, I am going to have to start all over, all over again with the scales, of course. So as long as I can start here and continue doing my scales, my practicing, then uh, the music shouldn't be too far away. <laughs> but you know, this is going to be an interesting journey. Uh, one of the goals will be to uh, compose music for my different TV channel, different TV shows. Uh, we are coming back with that. I still have to do some more work on the editing bay. But uh, given the fact that everything's coming along all right, uh, you know, I think we should be back in operation sometime tomorrow. We'll see what happens. I'm still not feeling that well uh, with my ear infection. Uh, some days are good, some days are bad. Uh, I, uh, but the, the worst part is, is uh, I can't get to, seem to get to sleep. My sleep schedule seems to be way off where I'm not going to bed or falling asleep any earlier than 7 o'clock in the morning, so uh, that's going to present a bit of a problem, so uh, I don't know how things are going to work out, but uh, that's kind of uh, uh, one of the tasks around here is to sort of get things worked out. Uh, so the next tasks here for the next few days are cleaning. i got some, some Cassandra issues to deal with uh, where i got to mess all over the place, and my Cassandra's nerds are out. And she talks about her messes. Uh, uh, we, she and I seem to have the same cleaning problem, so. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm not alone in that, and she's not alone in that. I don't know how comforting that would be, but, uh, you know, that's what it is. Uh, so I have something like that to do this week. I have some cleaning stuff to do. And uh, also work on the editing bay. Again, that's cleaning up on the editing bay. Editing bay requires just a little tinkering with sort of uh, working out the bugs. So, and uh, that should be done uh, tomorrow. Well, that's what I said a while ago, so. <laughs> when it's done, I'll let you know. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. I'm aiming for tomorrow, but uh, you don't know. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up for now. Uh, for this segment of the vlog. I'll try to vlog tomorrow, a little bit more tomorrow, we'll see what happens. And we'll go from there. Alright, so see you then. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. I had uh, promised to vlog more, and that kind of didn't happen so much because as I was telling you, I was dealing with the ear infection, I hadn't been sleeping properly, and just a few days ago, well, I don't know, I guess it would be a couple, I guess it would be a couple few days ago, just about Tuesday, Wednesday. Because I can't remember the last time I vlogged. My days are completely gone in terms of my sense of days. Uh, I've been doing a lot of heavy sleeping, so I've been sort of. Uh, it, 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 it's it's a bizarre it's a bizarre uh, it's a bizarre feeling because I feel like 
that I'm moving in an altered state, that, that the things around me are very ethereal. Uh, being awake is almost like being a dream. Being in a dream, it doesn't seem real to me. So that's kind of the condition that I'm in. Uh, and this is sort of, even when I'm vlogging like this, it's kind of a bizarre type of thing. I was kind of, you know, uh, hesitant to vlog uh, in these periods. Because I don't know if it would be, if it would be interesting or not. Uh, I, don't <laughs> I mean, I, I, unlike other vloggers, I don't really go anywhere. I don't, I spend most of my time, most of my life, uh, most of my, the way I view the world is through my research desk. And that's kind of how the way things go. I've got the music thing all set up here, but I haven't done anything yet because, well, basically I've been sleeping. <laughs> so, uh, that's how this week has actually been going. We'll see what happens uh, tomorrow and over the weekend. Uh, that should prove interesting to see where that goes. I mean... I am working in, as I said, I'm working in this emergency uh, efficiency, efficiency mode. So work is getting done, bits and chunks at a time, and there should be some new interest, new stuff coming up for uh, next week. I should get the rest of the. Uh, I should start now that I got the first video out. I should be able to start working on uh, the, getting the rest of the videos out, getting that backlog cleared off the editing bay because I was able to resolve the problem on the editing bay and the first video went out. Uh, I now have to work on sort of uh, making the vlogs flow better. In other words, there's, there's a flow issue to the vlogs that uh, is still a hard time, it's still a difficult uh, run to get the 30 minutes to, to do a half hour show. In other words, the goal here is to try to replace your TV show. Let's say you want to cut, cut the cable. You want to cut your cable bill to a certain degree. Well, are there alternatives out there that you can do, that, that you can find? And so my decision is to sort of look at the uh, TV format, which is other half hour shows, and do half hour hour shows. Uh, and that makes it easier for people to replace to replace their old TV, uh, and uh, it's working out okay. It's, I've been able to fill the 30 minutes. It's now what I'm working on is I'm working on the flow and how to better cut and edit the program. So it's an editing issue that I'm working on in terms of improving the BTS vlog. And of course, uh, this the learning curve that's in there and the stuff that I learn. Uh, will benefit everything else, all the other shows on down the line, so. Anyways, I think I'm going to watch one last uh, vlog on YouTube, because YouTube is now my main uh, TV channel. So I'm going to watch one last vlog, and then uh, I will be going back to bed again. <laughs> yeah. We'll see when I get up again, and if I, and when I next vlog. Anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 4 hours and 37 minutes into the day of Friday, September 12th, 2014, and it's nice and cool outside, so all right, take it easy. Well, we're vlogging again uh, while we're walking, uh, going food shopping. I didn't uh, vlog earlier, uh, if you're wondering why I'm starting to vlog now, uh, when we're uh, further along, that's because uh, the sun is behind me. It's about uh, seven o'clock in the evening on uh, Friday, uh, September twelfth, two thousand fourteen. That will have to be good enough for our time and date stamp, anyways. Uh, and with the sun behind you uh, in the lens. What happens is that it tends to darken images. If the light source is behind the person you're filming, the image will become very dark. If the light source is behind the camera, then that's okay. So uh, you always have to be aware of where your light source is, where it's coming from. And that's kind of, we're getting into a uh, dark patch right now because the sun is behind me, you can see it. I'll go into a shaded area here where the sun will not be in our direct path. And as that happens, you'll see a change in the brightness of the camera and the brightness of the picture. And I come into better focus. Wow, better view. 
simply because uh, the light situation isn't swamping the sensors. Uh, anyways, uh, things are going okay. <laughs> well, they usually that's the way they usually go. They don't go great, but they go okay. Uh, I'm progressing out of my uh, out of my sleep deprivation and. I have to go food shopping, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm also working on some new features. Uh, I got the music studio working again. And the next thing I'm working on is an animation studio for Linux. So that will come into play. I'm also going to be working this week to bring back a large chunk of the shows that were supposed to be in season zero. And that includes Ubuntu BSD and Excel, uh, Beauty and the Geek. And so on and so forth. And we'll see if we can get out, if we can bring Kitchen Diner, the Kitchen Diner, into Season Zero. That will be sort of the goal. But anyways, even if that doesn't happen, uh, <laughs> you know, things are progressing. So, I think I'm going to end it here. And I'll talk to you a little bit later on. Alright, see you later. Well, now that we got the first uh, few seconds out of the way, this is where the glitch, the audio glitch usually occurs. Uh, I'm on my way back from uh, food shopping. I got what I needed. And so far, it looks like I'm uh, bringing my weekly food costs down. I'm between $30 and $40 a week now, which is pretty good. Uh, before, they are about $100 a week now. I'm down to about 40 bucks a week, so I'm saving on average $60 a week, so uh, that's uh, not bad. So $60 a week times four, it's $240 a month. Uh, and you'll see what I do with the money. <laughs> uh, it's not that uh, I'm just simply saving the money to save the money, well, that, which is good, uh, but I am using it for uh, to uh, upgrade my equipment, to expand, the research to you know to grow things so in other words within the amount of money that I get every year for my research for from different donations for from different sources uh, instead of you know always wanting more in terms of getting more money uh, you make do not only make do with what you have but you always try to improve and if you can improve then you've actually grown. You've, you're, you're, with, without having a growth in capital, your company actually grows. This is just true for the household too. You know, just because you're on a budget and trying to watch your money doesn't necessarily mean you'll have to live poorly. Uh, <laughs> that's certainly not the case here. Uh, but anyways, what it does do is it allows you to uh, uh, do more things with the budget that you have and that's kind of where we're going with this so it's about 7 30 it's friday september 12 2014 and that's it for today maybe i'll see you later at the audio uh, on at, at the uh, music studio and see if we can start up the animation studio too all right see you later Democratic Earth. Earth.